Hello and welcome to another Blender know-how tutorial. Today we are going to learn how to uh, do squash and stretch techniques in Blender using the shape keys. And there's a few different ways you can uh, do this, but we're going to try. We're going to do the shape keys this uh, in this tutorial. So let's go ahead. I'm going to hit end the animation. I'm going to open up a new Blender. Get past the, spl the splash screen. I'm going to X to delete the cube, and hit Shift A to add a mesh uh, UV sphere. And I'm going to turn it into a smooth shading. And we're going to go right into the shape keys or the object data tab. And I'm going to hit add new shape key. And this is the basis. And we're going to name it squash. And the reason why it was called basis is because if there is no other shape key, this is the one it will take precedence. Uh, this is what it's going to look like. And if we hit add, because we want another one, I'm going to name it stretch. Uh, this one has a value, and this first one doesn't. This because this one you can't change it from a previous, uh, from a default, because this is the default. And this one, if it's set at zero, it will take this look. If it's not set at zero and it's set at one, it will take this look. And anywhere between, it will uh, switch between them. So it's going to be like 0.5 this and 0.5 that if it's at 0.5. So I'm going to leave it at zero. And let's go ahead. I'm going to hit 1 on the numpad. I'm going to hit 5 to go into orthographic mode, which puts it into a flat, almost uh, blueprint style uh, look. It's going to be very flat. And that's what we were looking for. So I'm going to hit tab to go into edit mode. And I'm going to. I'm going to hit squash first. Uh, squash, we can. I'm going to squash it by 0.2. Uh, and I'm going to move it up and I'm going to put it on the origin. On the very bottom part of the object, I'm going to put it on the origin. Uh, and then I'm going to hit stretch. And we can, if we go out of edit mode and we hit stretch and we add it, we don't have anything. That's because we haven't changed it yet. So now, because we multiplied it by 0.2, if we multiply uh, to get the squash, if we multiply that and get the reciprocal, which would be, because 2 over 10 is the same as 0.2. If we do 10 over 2, which is 5, so if we multiply this by 5, we now get our original shape right back. And then, what we want to do is because we did 1 point, or we multiplied it by 0.2, which is a change of 0.8, we want to then stretch this by 1.8. So I'm going to type in 1.8, and then I'm going to align the bottom again. So now, let's go out of tab, out of edit mode, and now we're in object mode. If we if we put it zero, we have all the way stretched. If we put it at one, we have, or no. Nah. If we put it at zero, we have all the way squashed. If we put it at one, we have all the way stretched. And because we did this just right. If we put it at 0.5, we are back in our original shape. So this may be what you want to leave it at uh, for the time being. Uh, so now let's go back into edit mode because there's still some more tweaking we want to do. Because in uh, squash and stretch, it doesn't just stretch upward and squash downward. We also get uh, outward movements this way. We, it stretches outward also. So I'm going to do squash first. Now I'm going to go into edit mode and it puts it into the squash formation. I'm going to hit 7 to go in the top view. I'm going to hit S and I'm going to size it by 1.5. And I'm going to do it on both axes uh, so that we can even this way and that way. But I don't want to just hit S and make it bigger because then we have it on the Z axis, which we don't want. Uh, okay, so now if we go out of tab, if we go back into object mode, uh, and we go into s click on stretch, we can see that it didn't match the stretch. The stretch didn't get the outside uh, stretch values. So now we have to go back in there and change. So I'm going to hit on stretch now, go into tab, I'm going to hit 7. And because we multiplied it by 1.5, which is the same as 2 over 3, I'm going to S, and what's the reciprocal of 2 over 3 is 
3 over 2. So, oh, I said that wrong. What's that? The reciprocal of 3 over 2 is 2 over 3, which is 0.66. Uh, and you might even be able, I'm going to try putting in the fraction. It might let you put the fraction right in, which would be kind of cool too. Um, let's see. Well, let me 2 divided by 6. Oh, not 6. Uh, 2 2 divided by Oh, it only lets you do uh, if you want to divide, it only does 1 over the division of whatever you want. So uh, that's not what we want to do. We want to just do uh, point Oh, now it's only let me divide. Okay, there we go. Point six six six, and if you have the same problem, if it only lets you divide, just hit the division sign again, and it'll take you back into fraction or into decimal form. Now we're at point six 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 inward, and we can do that with both axes, and we're back to the original shape this way. But because we went uh, that way one third, or up, we went that way point five actually. 1.5. Uh, we want to go back in. Uh, let's go 0 0.5. That should be right. So now, if we do that on both axes, our stretch and squash should be now complete. Now let's put it at 0 0.5. We have the original shape, which is just a sphere. And if we go this way, it squashes, and that way it stretches. And if you want to, if you, uh, so let's just I'm gonna animate it real quick. If we go to Z, frame one, I'm gonna start with 0.5. I'm gonna hit I, and if you if you hover your mouse over this value slider and just hit I, it uh, keyframes it. Now I'm gonna go to frame 10, and I'm gonna squash it all the way. I'm gonna I, and I'm gonna go frame 20, and I'm gonna stretch it all the way and hit I. And then I'm going to go back to 30, and I'm going to squash I and 40, put it back at 0.5, and put it at I. So now, and I'm going to also change the end to 40, and I'm going to play it. So now I just have this simple squash stretch little animation, and you can run with it the way you want. But that is how you end up doing the shape keys. So hopefully that helps with anything, and thanks for watching.